prepare to bask in unprecedented glory because today I'm going to elucidate why you should never succumb to depression. Today I'm going to explain why you should never be depressed. Now depression is a state of mind. It taints your mind. It clouds your judgment and it causes you to wallow in agony and it causes you to succumb to a state of distress which you should never be in. Now you should modify your externalities. You should modify the conditions of your lifestyle if you're ever depressed. For instance, being disorganized depresses you and causes you to harp on negativity and puts a damper on your mood and organize your lifestyle. Make the changes in your lifestyle that are profound and that are optimistic and that will move you forward. You, not, you do not want the trajectory of your lifestyle to be one of regression. You want it to be one of progression. So, if you're living with tyrannical, violent, coercive, oppressive people, then try to minimize your contact with them. Try to show them unrequited kindness, irrespective of what they did in the past. You could forgive their sins to have a healthier state of mind. Do not fight fire with fire. I do not believe in the adage, an eye for an eye. I believe that you should always treat everyone with kindness. Maybe the person who's abusive towards you will mature and will be less petulant and less tyrannical if you show them unrequited love and unrequited kindness. Being apathetic doesn't get you anywhere. Be compassionate, be empathetic, and be kind towards everyone in the multiverse, irrespective of how they treat you. And if your relationship with someone is contentious, then minimize your contact with them. So, if you're undergoing a state of depression because you're in school full time and you need to test and disdain the score, then you could always drop out. You could always withdraw from the classes. That's always an option. Or you could be homeschooled if you're not pursuing a degree in post secondary education. You should pursue what you love. You should relish every moment. You should extract the maximum amount of joy out of every moment. Set objectives and long term goals and strive to achieve them. Strive to attain your objectives and goals. Set meaningful, worthwhile goals. Have a purpose in life. Have some agency. Don't meander around wasting your time being fruitless. Be productive and um, focus on what makes you happy. Hone in on what makes you happy and do that. Pursue your higher aspirations. It's as simple as that. You can always modify the context of your lifestyle to render you less depressed and to render you happier. You should be jovial, buoyant, and gleeful, to say the least. How do you attain a state of mind in which you're happy the majority of the time? Well, you need to do what you love. It's as simple as that. If you detest working, if you disdain working, strive to make money pursuing your hobby. If that's not working, you could always do something to mitigate the drudgery of work. For instance, people cope with schoolwork by listening to music. People cope with schoolwork by um, eating as they're doing work. This mitigates the stress appertaining to doing schoolwork because you're listening to music that you love or you're doing something that you detest or you're eating something that's flavorful, piquant, zesty while you're doing something that's onerous and dreadful. So you can see how these mitigators help to try to mitigate the pain of whatever you're doing. And there's a bunch of ways to mitigate the pain. Getting sleep helps you mitigate the stress of doing with schoolwork because you're refreshed, you're rejuvenated, and you're imbued with more energy than you otherwise would have if you were sleep deprived. If you're sleep deprived and you're more chronically stressed and, and it will prolong the duration, it takes you to complete your schoolwork and you'll be less cognitively optimized to do your schoolwork. Or I guess you could say, well I guess that's one way of putting it up, let's just move on. So. Change the context of your situation if you're depressed and um, pursue what makes you happy. It's no cliche, it's no truism, but it works. And if you have to work to generate wealth, and if you do something you absolutely detest, try to find something that brings you minimal stress 
and trying to mitigate that stress as much as possible either by eating or by listening to music on the job or perhaps by chit-chatting while you're working or watching videos as you work. There's a couple of amount of ways which you can help minimize your stress on the job, but there's no reason to be depressed. Don't harp on negativity. Don't wallow on negativity. Focus on how you can move forward in your life and how you could progress and not regress. The trajectory of your life should be one of progress and not of regression. So, I hope that you found this video to be insightful and enthralling. Please feel free to disseminate your sauce via the comment section below. I'm curious what you think about this issue. So, never be depressed. If you're depressed, just change the context of your situation. Do what makes you happy. Minimize your contact with people who render you depressed and who are negative influences. And surround yourself with positive people. And, um, it's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.